Man, I gotta pee. Man, I gotta pee. Not now, man. Not right now. Not in traffic. Whew. Man. Almost didn't make it. Man, I hate this traffic, man. This stuff is irritating, man. Dang. What you staring at? What you biting at? What, don't be licking your lips at me, bro. Hey, I don't know you like that. Hey, get a car, man. Okay, 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 okay. What are you doing? Hey, chill. What? Oh, man. Oh, traffic finally moving. Thank God. Man, where's Q hat? Man, we've been standing out here for half an hour. Yo, baby will be here in a minute. Keep your shirt on. Man, there he is right there. Yo, man, what took you so long, man? We were sitting out there for almost half an hour. And what it look like? Y'all limo service or something? Yeah, it's cool. Man, I just hate waiting on people. Oh, you hate waiting on people, huh? Well, how about waiting on a bus? You think you like that better than me being late? <laughs> Cold blow, though. That's what I'm talking about. This is your car. Put that man in check. I have to go get nothing. Boy, I ain't got no gas. Hey, Y'all got me on the petrol, right? Man, man what's up with y'all? If y'all taking the public transportation, y'all be spending at least two dollars to get home. Man, I would give you some money, but I just started my new job and I ain't got paid yet. But I got you though. Man, hold up. Every time I roll with y'all, y'all ain't never got no money. Man, what's up with that? Yo. I got some food stamps. How you gonna give the man some food stamps? Your mom and dad own their own company. They make too much money to get food stamps. I got them from this crackhead on Crenshaw for a dollar. Man, y'all sorry. How about you, mister? I hate being late. I ain't got no money right now either. Dude, we got you, Q. We got you. Man, I'm about to go, man. I gotta get to a gas station before we run out of gas. We got you, Q. We got you. Rick, you scared like a little punk. Yeah, sitting there like a little sweetie. I ain't scared. I just want to get home. I just want to get home. You a buster. I just want to get home. You a buster. Guys. Man, what are you doing? What it look like? I'm thirsty. You don't drink a man's soda without asking. Why not? He probably don't want it anyway. You know, I'm telling you, man, don't do it. Man, you ain't walking home. Man, I don't care what he said. I ain't getting out this car. I drink this in front of him. He ain't gonna say nothing else to me. All right, son, you're gonna get molded. Man, what are you doing? Drinking your soda. You just drunk a cup full of my urine. Oh! What the fuck? I'm sorry, man. I was on the freeway. I'm sorry, man. I was on the freeway. You can do it.
Uh, no, I feel all comfortable being all hugged up with you and everything. You know my dad's a preacher. Some of the church members might be in here. Y'all loud. Shut up. I'm trying to watch the movie. <laughs> Aren't you like 19? Yeah. Still respect my dad, though. What? I'm not cute to you? Very cute. Then why don't you go? Last name. Genesis. Never lie. Remember this. Satan dropped off a heaven to possess well, this world. You creep on your sin. Y'all saw a pretty girl. You've been going through your tribe and breaking down your name. Wait, wait, wait. I, I can't do this. What's the problem? No, nah, it's, it's nothing. It's just. I know. <laughs> you can't watch. Hated it. Go with me, gay. Let's get out of here. You can do that, bro. I mean, I came on pretty strong. I didn't mean to. Sight. I just want to take things slow. That's it. Okay, so you're not mad at me? Not at all. So, if we take things slow, you think we can have something here? For sure. So, I'll see you at school tomorrow, right? Nah. No. The weekend, remember? Right. So, where are you going? It's like eight. Hey man, I'm about to play for a little bit longer, y'all. I'm not in shape. Yeah, me too. Before y'all leave, man, I got something for y'all. Awesome. All right, here we go. Bam! What's this? Where you get this from? Man, I got some drink, man, from my uncle. From your uncle? Yeah, he got it for me when I told him, you know, I wanted to get the party popping. Man, you know we don't drink, man. We don't drink after man. He got it and stuff. He got it for us to get the party popping. Party popping, man. We don't drink, yo. I guess this is where I make my ex. I'll holler at you. All right, hard then, party pooping. Anyway, man, you trying to have some? Nah, man, what's wrong with y'all, man? We don't drink. I well, drink. We all drink. We all drink. Everybody like never drank before. Okay. 
caught up in this place, brother. Having a party over here, Chucky? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Man, I'm just over here schooling my youngster about life up in here. My life up in here. You should know. Almost two years now. Ah, there you go. Quentin Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. You got court this morning. Man. Hi, youngster. Man, make something of yourself. Thanks, man. Let's go. You're holding up the bus. We are professional. Honorable Judge Whitman is now presiding. Well, young man, I see you've been charged with a DUI, but you don't have any priors on your record, so why don't you tell me what happened? Well, it's like this, Your Honor. I was hanging with some of the friends. They started drinking. I told them I didn't want to do it. I thought I could handle myself, but I guess I couldn't. All right, Ms. Hassan, uh, what does the DA recommend for this brother? Well, Your Honor, in light of the circumstances, the state asking you to give him a life without the possibility of parole. Your Honor, I object. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For a DUI? <laughs> Sorry, Judge. I just wanted to see with everybody, how did everybody react to this, re to this mm -hmm. request? Well, you know what? One more stupid joke like that, and you'll be chuckling it up for three months in jail. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. And you, I know your parents. I don't even know why you're in my court right now. You come from a good home. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry, Your Honor. Silly little game with me and my friends. Look, son, let me ask you a question. Look around. Look around you. Where are your friends now? They not here. Exactly. And you know what? I need to teach you a lesson. So I am sentencing you to six months of community service at the Compton Youth Center. And you better report by Friday or you're going to spend some real time in jail. And you're getting three months of probation. So stay away from the people that keep getting you in trouble. Do you understand me? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Now I have a representative from the Compton Youth Center that uh, was graciously uh, able to join me today, and he's going to stand up and give us the, the information of what the program consists of. Mr. Smith? Well, yeah, thank you, Judge. We will have several opportunities for him to do that. We will have DUI training as well as anger management courses and also safe sex courses, which he looks like he can use that. So if he wants to take advantage of those, then we will have those available for him. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Smith. All right, so we're going to take a break for lunch, and uh, we'll be back. Court is in recess. Mom, what are you doing? Court over? <laughs> yeah, you would have known that if you wasn't doing your nails. Yeah, let's go. I kinda got buried in my homework and everything. Parents kinda locked me up like I was in jail. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, I missed you, boo. I missed, missed you too. I am here clean this room. Look, you, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going with your fine stuff? Let's pop you for the night. Tell me. Q, where's the Benz? Where's, where's the rod? You parked in the driveway, huh? Yes. Kinda what I want to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. I kinda got into a little accident last night. You wrecked your car? The Benz? Kinda. You got the Benz? Kinda. Got insurance, you know, we be rolling in the Benz in no time. Well, it's not gonna be quite that simple, you see. Mm -hmm. 
I wrecked the car and everything. My pops isn't gonna retrieve it. So, you know, I thought maybe we could ride my bike, you know what I'm saying? Or the bus, catch a movie or something. You want me to ride that? Or take the bus? Yeah. Look here, Hugh. You get you a new ride, we can pick up this relationship where it left off. Until then, I'm gonna be kind of busy. Oh, it's like that? Yeah, it's like that. Call me. Uh, but, you know? Could've had some. Could've had some good. He's a criminal with a DUI. Listen, you're a lawyer, right? You know that a DUI is a felony, don't you? Duh, yeah. He's brought a bad name on our family. He's the first kid in this house to have a felony DUI. Now, you would have known that if you weren't sitting up doing your fingernails in court. Dad, I'm sorry. I just got caught up. Caught up? This is the third car that this boy has wrecked. Now he's the first kid in our family with a criminal record. A record that may keep him out of Harvard University. And on top of that, I'm going to be the subject of conversation at the Pastors Fellowship next week. And now my son is doing community service in the hood with pimps, Holes, prostitutes, and bitch. Dad, you act like you never made mistakes when you were younger. Cut me some slack. Honey, just don't be so hard on the boy. Yeah, Dad, if God forgives him, then you should too. Quit tripping. <laughs> nah, somebody needs a whooping. Look, stop it right now. We don't get spankings in this family. We, we talk it out. I can't just let you walk away and get away with this scot-free. You got to pay. I'm gonna think of something. Dad, isn't my community service, my record, that punishment? Yeah, but you got to feel the terror of your father. Excuse me, Ricky. Give the boy a chance. The word of God said, if someone sins, forgive them 70 times 7, doesn't it? Yeah, but it also says he reaps what he sows. I forgave you when you was a little kid. And those 200 beatdowns that I gave you, Made you who you are today. Uh, yes. Honey, just don't be so hard on the boy. Woman, I'm not going to raise no punk. You cannot be weak and survive in this society. He's not weak. He is strong. Yeah, Dad, I am strong. Well, it's time for you to receive a punishment for what you've done, right? But, you know, I was thinking about... Oh, uh, what were you thinking, honey? Well, I was, I was thinking that, well, he can't miss, nor be late for community service. He'll go to jail. So he, he needs a car. Well, I told him that the next time he messed up some cars, I would not get him another one, and that still stands. Dad, I'm going to make it to community service every day. Now the punishment for all this stuff. What, what punishment? What are you thinking? Public transportation. What? And I can't take the bus. I could get killed, murdered, kidnapped. Even worse. What about pimping in this? Oh yes, starting tomorrow. That's dangerous. Dad, yeah. there's nothing you can say that's gonna convince me to take the bus to the hood every day. You betrayed my trust to pursue your lust. You betrayed my trust to pursue your lust. You betrayed my trust to pursue your lust. So you call yourself a Christian, knowing it's competition with God and Satan. Amy, ammunition, many will fall by the sword. Continuity with the Lord, being a hypocrite. I delight in the word. You can't think of well, son, you coming or what? I got a schedule to keep. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. 
Yo, my young brother. You can't ride for free. How much is the fare? Three dollars for an all day pass or a dollar fifty each way. What's the matter? I don't have any change. Well son, I don't know what to tell you. You can't ride for free. If you don't have the right change, get up at the next exit, watch wait for the next button. No, I, I can't do that. Does anybody have change for a fifty dollar bill so this man can pay his fare? Ooh, what are you doing? Paying my fare. I ain't never seen nobody pay 50 bucks for a dollar fifty ride. It's cool. I just had exact change tomorrow. Hey, 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 Granny. To the back of the bus. You know what it is. Huh? Matter of fact, where the weed at? I know you got credit racks. Looking like a sour grape. You hear Boy, shut up and sit down. I'm old enough to be your mama. Sit down. Now, do you know Jesus? No, I don't know Jesus. You never accepted the Lord? He never accepted me. He accepted you the day you was born. The day you was thought of, he accepted you. You know, God is showing us some things, and he got some blessings for you, a child for you. Some good things is coming your way, but you got to make some changes. So you ain't got no weed? Because I feel like you're how? Do I look like I have some weed? Oh, no, granny, smoke. Well, I don't. And I'm not a granny. Asking me. Do I look like I got liquor and weed on me? Because I don't. So oh, don't no. even bring it up no My more. My grandma get drunk and she take a fifth to the head every night. You know what? That's your grandmother. You, you. I told you the Lord got something in store for you. But you got to quit acting foolish. Oh. Hallelujah. That's what it's called? I'm about to work. Hold that thumb. Hello. How you doing, young man? Good. Good. My name is Mother Janice. Nice meeting you. What you read? The Bible. Actually, I'm reading Mark 16, 16. It talks about being baptized and not being baptized. Baptized. <laughs> I've been baptized. The priest sprinkled my head over a boat. Well, well, Bible baptism is about immersion in the name of Jesus. You have to be immersed completely in the water. Oh, well, here's my stop. I'll see you later, Quinn. Hey, yo, what's up with you? Man, I felt that, yo. Oh, yeah, man. These potholes these Man. Hey, yo. Look at that punk looking at us. His clothes looking kind of tight, man. Yeah, man. I wonder how much we can get for them clothes, though. You don't need to leave that boy alone. He's just a college boy. He's no threat to y'all. Man, stall the boy out. Look like one of those little college boys, Rudy Pooh. Nah, 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 y'all yeah, about to come up, y'all yeah, watch this. What's up, boy? Uh, you talking to me? Nah, I'm talking Little Red Riding Hood. Yo, come on, don't you see me looking at anybody else? Nah, I don't. Hey, yo, though, where you from, man? Uh, West L.A. Nah, nah, what set you from? Set? Hollywood set? Man, what hood, man? A hood? I don't live in the hood. Man, Tom, can I tell you to start this little homie out? I knew you was a little nerd, boy. Nerd? I don't know all about that, but your friend gets good advice. Good advice. Stall him out, T. Nah, man, chill. So y'all want them shoes, man? Lady, please help me. No way. Uh-uh. Don't put me in that mess. I can't believe you. Can anybody help me? Oh, man. Yo, run these nah, shoes. Nah, man, come on, man. Yo, take the shoes off. Hey, man. you all need to pick on someone from a different hood. 
Man, shut up and sit down. You don't run my mouth. Man, shut Man? I said I ain't trying to do this. Oh, you ain't trying to do this, dog? Yo, look, man, I'm tired of you acting like a little hoe, dog. Don't have me smoke you out here, man. All right, man. I'm cool. All right, dog, I thought you start seeing things my way, man. Now, let's get this boy, get this cash, man, get paid, man. Come on, dog. So I came to help. Hey, look, man. Uh -huh. Come on, tell me I should ride with strangers. Look, you better make a move fast. Either you get in this car, or you gotta face them. I saw those guys chasing you. What was that all about? I was riding on the bus, man. I try to take my shoes, my clothes, and my money. Where were you on your way to? Maybe I could drop you off. I'm on my way to the uh, Compton Community Center. I don't serve community service there. You know what? I know right where that's at. I'd be glad to drop you off. But my name is Mr. Watkins. My name's Quentin. Nice to meet you, Quentin. Take it, you ain't from around here. Nah, my first time ever being around here, or you taking a bus. Really? Sorry, your first time had to be like this. Man, that was a real close call. Yo, I feel bad for these kids around here in the hood. I gotta deal with all this mess that these other renegades put them through. Why can't these kids just get along? I'm a loss prevention officer from Target. I was just on my way home from work. Hey, thanks again for coming through for me, man. I was about to be a gunner. Yeah, you got to be careful around here. These gangbangers are not playing down here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Here we are. Hey, thanks again. You really saved my life. Well, I don't know about all that. You just be careful. Thanks again. Here's my card. If there's anything I can do to help out, just give me a call. All right. Here I go. Excuse me. I'm in the middle of a conversation here, okay? I'll be with you in a second. Hello. No, people trying to bother me at work. Excuse me. What? I need some service. Um, I'm sorry. Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to call you right back, okay? All right. Hi, how are you? Can you help um, me? I would love to help you. What do you mean? I'm trying to serve my community service. That's it. You like serving your community? 
my community service. I can give you some other stuff you can serve. <laughs> I mean, are you new around here? I haven't seen you around here before. Not from around here. Okay. Um, the serve community service, you need this. Make sure you give this to your counselor and make sure you give your court order and your probation order to your counselor, okay? Quentin Johnson. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Follow me. Why are you here? Do you why? Man, you up in here with rapers and, and murderers and man, look at this, man, and, and and thieves and robbers and, and, and people, man, that are breaking in houses and murdering people and setting people on fire and, and gangbangers and all kinds of thugs, and all you got is a DUI. Man, let me tell you something about a DUI. You know what a DUI is? Driving under the influence, man. Driving down the street sideways. Man, you know, you could have ran over my mom. You know what? She'd be pushing that car across the street, doing like this, minding her own business, the T-4 falling out of here, trying to get out the way, and here you come, driving down the street on the wrong side of the road, going backwards. DUI. You could have killed, you could have killed anybody, innocent child. Man, you got off good, man. Oh, real good, man. Let me see your paperwork. Let me see it. Mm -hmm. DUI, man. All right. Come on down. Come on down here, man. Come on. Let me show you where your classroom is. You need to, you need to see this. This is your classroom right here. Right here. This is where you're going to be every day. Okay? Every day. Get in here. Keep your nose clean. Man, I tell you, don't even scratch your head out of place. Well, come in. What's your name, son? Quentin. They call me Q. Well, Mr. Quentin... Q, you can take a seat right there in that open chair. What's up, Chump? Yeah, you ain't running nowhere this time, homie. We got you now. Them shoes and that shirt still looking kind of tight. Come on, Tom, won't you starve the little boy out? Right now, I gotta do this. Yo, let's cut his feet off. Say goodbye to them stinking toenails. <laughs> oh, you got stinking toenails. Pay attention to the teacher. Hey, yo, you heard what he said, right? Pay attention to the teacher. Hey, man, why are you hitting me, man? Pay attention to the teacher. Hey, yo, I'm looking at the teacher. Oh, okay. Well, take your glasses off. This is my personal assistant, Marissa Jackson. That gentleman in the corner over there, that's our youth counselor, Mark. And this is your DUI class. Now, the reason y'all are in here because you're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. Tom, you've been here 16 times. You're definitely stupid. You definitely look like a black crab with lengthy shoulders and no socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you'll definitely be in prison for the next five years if you keep doing what you're doing. Schedule's going to be stupid. Don't drop the soap, Tom. Don't drop it. Okay, your assignment for tonight, I want you to read pages 4 through 10. Ms. Jackson. Four through ten. Four through ten. Please. Five, five. Thank you. Three pages. Four through ten. And I want you to write. Yes, write. I know that's kind of hard for some of y'all, but I want you to write. And tell me what led y'all to do what you did on that Friday night after the club. Or at that house party on that Saturday night. Man, I can tell you that right now. I don't want to hear it right now. I want you to write it for your home. And then tell me how you feel after you got caught and you ended up right here. Because I'm here to help you, not be against you. See, y'all don't need to drink anyway because the white man is always trying to keep y'all down anyway. Okay? You know why he make all them alcohol for y'all to get drunk and everything. All them drugs and marijuana and weed and everything like that. That's to mess y'all up. I know it's good. Oh, I just love the smell of gas. I fill up my car all the time and don't even need gas. It gets me so high. But... You can't take it. You just can't take it. Cause you, you know what? Look, 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 look. I'm, look. I'm just trying to hurry up and get paid. Am I really that boring? What's up? <laughs> so, Mr. Quinn, how would you?
you like me to send a, a note back to the judge, letting him know you are napping during these classes? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today, today we're gonna learn more about drugs. Now, no, not no other kind of drugs, but you know the drugs that make you, uh, you know, uh, more, more, more. So I say, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, my man, my man right here. He right here. He knows what I'm talking about. Because you know what? You know what? Even as far as what you think and what you see, but as far as about what you believe in, you know? And then as far as you look back beyond what you see, I'm just talking because I just want to get paid. But you know what? It's okay because, uh. <laughs> uh What's your name again? Uh, Quinn. Everybody call me Q. Oh, where are you from? What's the lay? What's your name again? Marissa. Hey, I really gotta go, Marissa. Hey, yo, come on, Joe. Okay. Come on. What's up, man? What's up? 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 Man, leave him alone, man. You guy in school, he had to keep his nose clean, and you all leave him alone. You understand what I'm telling you? Go. Look, let me tell you something. Leave these people alone, all right? Leave these characters alone. Go. Get, get yourself home. Fast as you can. Yo, hold on, son. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. You almost broke my watch. Oh, man, you done broke my watch. Yeah, and yeah. you know what you make me feel like, man? You make me feel like coming out of retirement, man. 20 years ago, man, man George like Ford, breakfast life. Sit down somewhere. Woo! I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Do old, You're cool, man. man. trying to go there, champ. All right, leave him alone, man. Right, Don't touch him. I'm at that chunk. All right, but leave him alone, man. You're trying to learn something. You care for school, because you know I'd come out of retirement, man. Oh, I feel good. Do that. <laughs> what do you do? My dad told me about you. All right, then. Are we cool? We cool, we cool. All right, respect, champ. All right. Oh, oh. How you getting home? Well... I take the bus home. Why you got that ashamed look? I'm taking the 34 southbound. Oh, for real? Heck yeah. What you, you know about it? You mind having a little company? Hey, it's public transportation. We have a lot of company, oh, weirdos. Okay. You know. I got you. <laughs> oh, it's hot on this bus and it's time for me to get out. Can you, um. It's real hot. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Thank you. It's making me forget. Make, make a little bit more better. You yeah. Know what I'm <laughs> well, this is the 34 southbound. It is, I see. Kind of hot on the southbound. Yeah, you're going to be riding this for a little minute. <laughs> yeah. Woo. That's okay. You got some company. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you silly. But um, this is my stop, so you think you'd be all right on this bus with them weirdos? <laughs> yeah. I think I can manage. I hope so. Well. I'll see you later, big boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, what's your problem, man? It's this Snoop Cat, man. Wait, wait. You're talking about that nerdy boy that ride the bus? I mean, why do he bother you so much, Tom? Why? It's not a threat to us. For some reason, I don't like him. I would want you to stall him out. Man. No, no, no. I want to get at him, man. Look like he need a lesson. I'm telling you, man. You want to start messing with this kid? Something drastic gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Something like me smoking him. I'm telling you, kid, man. Look, we got bigger things to be concerned about, all right? Let's talk about that, all right? Yeah, you got, you got everything set up with homies? Well, I got everything set up with homies. Man, you got the hardware? <laughs> well, I got the hardware. Try AK's 357 Magnum, mm. man, with hollow tip bullets, man. Deuce, deuce. Mm. Though we're going to be like a one man army, man. Mm. Yo, payback is going to be disastrous. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, man. We got to do this right, though, right? Only get one chance with this. 
You mess up, you done. Whatever. It's time to make Mr. Mr. Stone pay for for violating us, man, sending us back to prison. Oh, the seven years probation is killing me, man. Picture is ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that either, man. You throw that in the trash for me, man. <laughs> yeah, because you look like Flavor Flav. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> hey, yo. You know what? I got the most brilliant idea. What? We can get back at Mr. Stone, dog, and get at you at the same time. to the center, man. I done been down there. There's some hoes down there, brother. Look, get you one of them hoes with five kids. They'll take care of you, brother. I'm telling you, just make sure that they man don't come around because he'll kill you. I'm sure you was he'll one of them kill. kids with that had five sisters and brothers, huh? Uh, Your mama left you somewhere? Woo! What's, what's your name, brother? Man, I don't know, man. What's your name? Take man, my name, is, my name is Tommy. 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 Tommy, brother. What a creative name, Tommy. Tommy. Oh my goodness! Man, the, the hoes used to love me back in the day. Oh, so you used to be a pimp, I, huh? I done messed up. You used to be a pimp, huh? I messed up. You used to pimp from the corners? Nah, not really. Not really. Not really. Nah. But I messed up, man. Yeah, I can tell. You messed I, up real bad, huh? I was hooked up with this chick, man. Got her pregnant. You know, she already had about four kids. <sighs> Brother ain't got no money, man. She trying to hit me up for child support, you know. But look, I'm telling you, she take care of me though. She take care of me, brother. She cook me grits and eggs in the morning. Yeah, I ain't gonna say no more, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why you smell like a 40 ounce drink right now, huh? Drive it. Turn some AC on up in this uh, mother. Like, why are you sitting next to me? Go somewhere else, drunk man. Come on, get your head off me. Sit over there. Uh, get your butt out the air. Uh, did you fart? Ugh. Uh. Ugh. What you eat? <laughs> you sleeping with your butt in the air. Dude, you really yeah, stink. This heat and your stink don't no, match. Man, I'm going to make you a promise. Man. No, man. don't promise me anything. Promise me that you're going to bathe. I ain't going to no more of that stuff again, man. Leave that mad dog 2020 <laughs> alone. Uh, get, get, oh, get off me. Who oh, stink. <laughs> man, the bus stuff is for the birds, man. I used to take the bus everywhere. You should go to Venice Beach or something. Then you'll really have fun taking the bus, yo. Man, I'm, be, I'm used to having a car. I used to be the one laughing at them people on the bus stops. What happened to your ride? I wrecked it. And for the third time, I messed it up. First two times, 
I didn't check the oil. And the engine blew out. The third time, which was this last time, I totaled it and got a DUI. That's how I got here. Well, why don't you get a new car? Because my dad won't buy me another car. Hold on, yo. How old are you? I'm 19. Why? Don't you think you're old enough to get a job and start depending on yourself? Start depending on your mom and dad? Why should I? Because my parents got cheese. Why should I have to struggle? Well, they can buy me another car. There you go. Just like a young, healthy black man. Living on welfare. What? Man, I ain't never been on no welfare in my life. <laughs> oh, you haven't? You've been on welfare your whole life. And look at you. It's crippling you. Man, you crazy. I'm crazy? I'm only 20. I've had my own spot since I was 18. I couldn't wait to get out of my mom's house. I grew up on welfare from the system. We got checks and food stamps and couldn't even have a bank account. I got tired of living like that. So when I was 16, I got up, got myself a job, saved my money, got my own spot and a whip. I'm even able to help my mom out with my little brothers and sisters. Got good credit, car, and everything. I do for myself, for myself only. And as far as my father's concerned, he left my mom and all 22 of us when we were all just babies. My mom was both parents. But I wasn't gonna let that being poor control my life. <laughs> I got a nice girl too. <laughs> as I can see, you're like getting ready to take out like, like, like a jumbo jet also. Yo, what's up, man? Yo, man. I've been thinking. My homie here, KK, been telling me to stall you out. I was just a little mad because you wouldn't let me rob you. I decided to make everything cool with you. You dig? We cool? Alright, later, homes. Got some business to take care. Be easy, man. Yo, I wouldn't trust that guy, yo. Scandalous. He shot his own mama when she told him to stop selling drugs out of the house and stop paying the rent. Hold on. Hold on. He shot his own mama. Yeah. I don't trust the brother. Alright. What you about to do? Well, I'm about to take my break. Talk to that sexy lady over there. I heard that. How about we go somewhere, you know, a little more private? What? What you trying to do? Rape me? Oh, I thought you tripped or what? Hmm. <laughs> gotcha. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh gotcha. alright. You got jokes, I see. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You got jokes. Now, nah, we can go somewhere. You want to go to the lockers? Yeah, that sounds great. Sounds nice.
was saying, because I spent these 16, I got deep into my relationship, trying to stop me from climbing. G, I got this dined out cloth so close my chest. When I'm D-I-E, I'm going to represent Swift Splits. My girl don't understand the game. When she get mad, she think I get sick. I'm going to go on the same. I'm trying to make it in this game. I'm a thug, got to live it. I don't care, quit it. Thought we wasn't going to do it. We did it. Pay attention to hard. That's that the folks trying to take me as a joke. I'm going to broke, and I'm a loco. Don't take me as a joke. I'm going to do the thing and blow it out. I ain't got time to look like a funeral home. I'm going to make some place way. I'm a genius game. You need to realize the main. As I carry the east side on my shoulders, man. Hey, what you going to do? Everybody know me. Hey, homie, what's up, man? What's up, man? My fault, man. Hey, Q, man. Can you get down? What? Get down. Yeah, man, can you spit? Yeah, but I wouldn't want to spit on the ground or anything. <laughs> Man, you talking about rapping, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, no, nah, man. You never did that before, man. My pops went a lot at his house anyway. Besides that, I'm too shy. Hey, man, why don't you just try it out? Ah, man. It's not too hard. Man, let's give it a try, man. Ain't gonna hurt. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, let's give it a try. Let's try it out. Bro, you got some skill, man. For real, man? Yeah, man. I'm just playing around. Oh, you got some skill, man. I ain't using it. Well, imagine if you took spin seriously, though. Nah, man. Me a rapper? I don't think I can see that. Hey, what you doing when we get out of here anyway? Going on? Hey, man, you need to come with us to the studio and get on the track ASAP. I don't know about that. Hold on. Ain't you want the tone, boys? Yeah, man, but you know what I'm cool on tone right now. And plus, I'm always going to tell them to fall back off, you know what I'm saying? You sure? Man, I promise. I know this ain't one of your little setups or something. Look, man, all we do is make these mixtapes and make money and sell them on the street. Yeah, man, with your skill, we could be out here making this bread. Yeah, do sound kind of nice, though. I need a new whip and everything. Sound like a little cool little deal. All right, so you're going to come to the studio after work? For sure. All right, for sure, then. Yeah, man. All right, see so you need to get off work. Yeah. What y'all bums doing in here? Can we have pee and peace? Man, you don't get out of here, man. Make sure you don't pee on yourself. Top, like, whipping skills. Little bit, little bit. Not quite like me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's you? Yeah, why? Ha, <laughs> y'all loaded. Loaded? Man, my parents don't even drink. What are you talking about? Y'all mean y'all loaded with money? Oh, man, my, my dad's a preacher, my mom's a lawyer. What y'all doing in the hood? Man, total my car. Judge gave me community service down at the youth center. You know what I'm saying? I gotta catch the bus down down there every day because my boss won't buy me another car. Three strikes you out. I ain't getting another one. Man. So you uh trying to come in? Oh sir. I'm gonna fit in around this neighborhood. Come on, man. I wanna hear that, man. Just come in for a little second. You cool. Alright. It's only for a minute though, right? Man, Q, I ain't know you had it like this, man. Look at this house, man. Man, this ain't nothing, man. This this whatever. Nothing? Yeah, it's man. nothing. It's something in my neighborhood. I ain't, look at everything is good around here. Yeah, but it's the same. Y'all ain't got no roaches or nothing. Man, it's all my parents though, man. I guess. I guess, bro. I'm sure y'all got a nice house like this in your neighborhood. Nah, not not where I stay at, man. Is that bad? I don't think it's that bad, it's, man. It's that bad, man. I like, well, it's, it's whatever over here, man. It is what it is. Man, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I don't even feel comfortable in here right now, man. Like, Why not, man? It's a house. I know it's a house, man, but you know what I'm saying? Your, your parents do a lot of stuff, man. They might see me and look at me like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, so. so. Mm. Oh, hey. How you doing? Hi, who are you? I'm KK. KK. Yes. Oh, hey, son. What's up, Pops? How you doing? Good. Good, good, good. So, where are you from? I am. I down at the U Center. For Quentin. Oh, the U Center with Quentin. Yeah. Oh, so you go to the U Center too? Yes, sir. You carry, you guys carry on your conversation. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Alright, Hey, man, real talk? I don't think your pops like me, man. Man, let me sweat that, man. You good? Oh man, 
I don't, I don't think he likes me. I kind of got that vibe, you feel me, that feeling. So you're gonna talk to you later, man. It's probably something about me, man. Man, you, bro, you good, bro. Let's talk, man. I don't even think I fit in here, man. You know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and dip. I'm good, man. I'm, I'm gonna get you tomorrow, man. Don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah, man. I'm sure. I'm Positive. Sure. Positive. I'll get you tomorrow, alright? Alright, man. Alright. talking about you just brought some kid from the hood into our house man he cool that's my friend cool they're not nothing but pimps dope dope dealers dope smokers gamblers killers murderers and he's cool dad those center the kids at the center are cool look i don't care how cool you think they are when they see you have all of this they might end up kidnapping you or killing you or something like that and asking us for a ransom do not bring them kids up to our house Oh, please. Will you stop being so hard on the boy? And we can't forget where we came from. And I don't want to go back there. You heard what I said. Hey, we're not going to go back there. But your daddy, he's just worried. He's talking out inside of his mouth. He doesn't want to see you hurt. But I think what you're doing is a good thing. So, just love him, okay? All right. That's my man. What do you want to eat? I didn't eat Yeah, where's that Buster KK at, man? I don't know. After community service today, he just disappeared. I think he said he was going to the studio or something. Yo, call him on your cell phone. All right, man. Hey, yo, man, why you late, dude? Oh, oh, um, I had to drop off one of my homies. Kind of live far away from here. Yo, man, you almost made us blow the whole operation, man. You got old boy's ID? Yeah, man. Good, good. Just make sure you drop it after we do what we're going to do. Yo, Mr. Stone going to be paid back, man, for sending us back to the pen. That's real talk. Right, right. Y'all know what y'all doing, right? Yeah, yeah man, no doubt. Yo, let's do this. Let's go. Yo, you know what to do. Yo, you asking too many questions, man. Shut up. Man. Man, what? You got a problem, boy? Whatever, homie. It's a little whatever, man. Yo. Who running this? Who running this? Alright. Alright, man. Be easy, man. Yo, don't mess this up, dog. Man, I can fit this, man. Alright. To that chump, see that you sitting now. Man, he gonna flip, yo. Champ, man, you know, champ, you a chump for sending his back, dog, to the pen, man. Man, I ain't going back. That's some old sucker stuff, man. 
you gonna have to get back in the ring, fight some more fights to fix it up, you dig? Man, now you know that cat can't fight, yo. Yo, my pop said he was a champ, bro. Yo, man. Yo, what took you so long, man? Man, I did got stuck in my pocket. Man, yo, I hope you didn't do nothing stupid. I ain't trying to go back to jail. Yo, come on, man. Let's get up out of here. So do you have any idea of who could have done this? Any y'all great employee who just fired? Any kid who could be upset with you or your staff? You owe somebody some money? Nope. I don't understand. I don't owe nobody no money. I pay all my bills. I can't figure out how in the world somebody do this. All the years we've been there helping this community, I must be some, somebody on drugs. I must have a serious problem or something to break in and do a, thing, a place like this. What is going on? Why would they do that? Mr. Stone, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little more investigating here. Just kind of look around and see if we can find some clues. Yeah, yeah, you can go ahead because I can't watch this one. I got you. I'll get it. Okay. Yeah, this is a mess. From a champ down to a chump. All the police, they've been doing their investigations, but you know, on their leads, they ain't gonna find nothing, kid. They ain't gonna find nothing. Oh man, this thing just gives me a headache. Oh, 20 years. Oh. Hello. I'm looking for Mr. Stone. Hi, uh, Mr. Stone. What can I do for you? Who are you? I'm Miss Gaines from Crenshaw National Bank. Okay, I don't have any account there or any business with the Crenshaw Bank. Well, it's not about your not having an account at the Crenshaw Bank. I came to let you know that your building is in foreclosure. The building? Foreclosure. Foreclosure? What, what are you talking about? What, what is this? I came to bring you this. What is this? That's your 30-day notice to vacate the premises oh, before no, this, the this eviction not, process it's begins. Yeah, it's, it's got to be a mistake. Y'all are not now. I ain't got my glasses on, but y'all look at that. It's got to be something wrong here. Oh, no. I pay my bills every month to Mr. Chase. I pay on time, my lease, my payments. I'm there. I get my green stamps. I get everything. Uh, excuse, I don't know what you're talking excuse about. Excuse me, oh, Mr. Mr. Stone, you've been informed. 30 days, but 30 days. You and your crew, you broke under privilege. Crew. You want something? You can't you let that lady get away with all that. No, no, don't worry about that. Like my grandma used to say, God make a way out of nowhere. But you know what, right now, Miss Stone's tired. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep on this. And I'll be back. I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, Mrs. Stone. All right. It's crazy. What was this? Still trying to go to the beach? Man, that sounds like a good idea, but I'm just not up for it. That's understandable. Too much excitement in one day. How about tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow I might need something to like my mom. That sounds cool. Alright, we can make that happen.
So it deserves to be ripped up. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so you, you enjoyed yourself today? Yeah, I had a chill time. It was real relaxing. That's great. That's great. Happy you did. Yeah, we got the beach to the left, yeah. the park to the right, and us in the center. Yeah. It was cool. I really real enjoyed nice, myself. Bro. But you know, it just seemed like no matter how much fun I try to have, I still think about what happened to the youth center. Oh man, that was real cold what they did, huh? Real foul. But Marissa. Yeah. There's gotta be something we could do to help Mr. Sims and save the youth center. But what? It's not like we got a million dollars or a way to get it. I know. But wait, wait. I got an idea. I think maybe we can help save the youth center. How? I'm trip. I got this. I'm gonna need to hear a plan, cause. I'm trip. I got this. I need to trust me. That's a whole lot of trust. I, I got this. I got faith on me. That's a whole lot of faith. <laughs> all the faith I got, that's all I need. Well, you must go to one of them super churches or something. So, well, you know, my dad is a preacher, though. Mm, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to come visit your church. But, you trust me, though? Oh, man, do you trust me? <laughs> That's a lot of trust. That's a million dollars. But I got this. We're going to help save this youth center. Can you give me a, a sneak preview of the Just idea? Just mark my word. All right. Trust me. All right. I guess that's all I can do. If you're in my corner, we're going to do this. That's what's up. I like that. All uh, right. that we live in Beverly Hills, God, and that we don't live in, 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 in the hood, God. Thank you, Lord. Open up my son's eyes so he can see and not get messed up by them folk down there that you sent of God. Oh, help him, Lord. Oh, hey, son. I was just praying for you. I was praying that you don't get caught up in that mess down there with the messy folk and mess up your future, boy. Now, come on, sit down and let's have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. I don't need you to be praying for me if you going to be praying like that. Son, listen, I'm praying because you can't see. You don't understand what you're dealing with. I don't want you to get caught up in that mess, son. You are going to inherit all of this one day. Dad, I need you to help me with the youth center. Look, I am not about to take the blessings that God gave us and pour it down into some youth center with some folk that ain't going to be nothing but gangbangers and thugs and drug addicts anyway. Why, why can't you just understand? I do understand. Why do you think I'm not going to sit here and be broke and, and, and ruin your future just for them folk down there? They don't care about nothing. They're murderers. They're ruthless killers. They don't care about you. And they're going to be jealous of you and they're going to hurt you, my son. I just want you to hurry up and finish this community service and get out of that place. You just don't understand, do you? I don't understand. There's nothing but killers, prostitutes, hoes, all that stuff going on down there, gang banging, drug selling, and I just don't want you to get involved. I'm sorry that the courts made you do community service down there. I love you, boy. I don't want your life to be messed up. Everyone isn't like that, Dad. You just need to give them a chance. That's all they need is a chance down there. Oh, I know what's wrong with you. I know what's wrong. You, oh, my God. Oh, God. Don't tell me you done met some girl, some stanking girl that you done fell in love with. And now she just changed your whole view about the hood. Honey, you don't need the hood, son. We don't need that life. We got delivered from that. And you have never tasted that life. I'm, I am just so sorry you even had to go down there. Okay, you speaking so highly of yourself, but you can't help people under you. People need a chance. That's it. I'm sure you uh, people gave you a chance when you were younger. Nobody gave me a chance. You I perfect. came from the hood, struggling, living in cardboard boxes, and educated myself, and I sought God for myself, and son, he has blessed us. And I'm telling you, please, don't mess that up. I don't know what I would do if anything happens to you, son. I know that they got them gangbangers down there, and look at you. You're a handsome, rich kid. And I know that they're jealous of you. And I'm just afraid and praying every day that they don't hurt you. If I can help people that's under me, I will feel that much better, Dad. I will feel that much better if you can help me help them. Son, please don't take on the world. If anything happens to you down there, I'll never forgive myself. Nothing's going to happen to me down there. Those people aren't bad people. You just got to give them a chance. That's it. <laughs> I love you, son. 
I love you too, but I, I need you to be there for me, to help these people. I can't be there for them, but I'll be there for you. I can't believe what, what I'm hearing from you. So listen to me. Maybe this whole youth center thing is a distraction to get your attention off of what it is God wants you to do and, and the inheritance that God has for us. you got to stay focused. Maybe God just wanted me to bless that youth center while I'm down there, why, why I have a chance to help them. Well, I'm telling you this. You do that. I'm not doing it. I'm going to keep my direction, my focus on what it is God has called me to do. And if God wants that youth center to survive, it will survive with or without me or you. Can't believe Hey, yo, KK. Hey, it's Q. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, you heard what happened to the center last night? Hey, I think we do a mixtape or whatever, and I'll pick the center back up and help save it. Hey, as we do that mixtape, I'm saying we could do a little talent show and raise up enough money so we won't have to close. Hey, where you gonna be at tomorrow? All right. Hey, I'm gonna hook up with you at the school. Go on. Hey, honey, uh, just been sitting here meditating on the Lord, you know, thinking about stuff. Mm. Here, I brought you something. Oh, thanks a lot. I really don't need this with all this weight I got. I'm trying to lose, but honey, you're not helping me out. How do you feel now, preacher? I don't feel nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing? You're a pastor and a good man. You really are, Quentin. But how could you possibly say no to these people, to your brothers and sisters and their children? I mean, the last time I looked in the books, we had $40 million. Wait, 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 wait. Honey, we feed the poor. We have homeless shelters. Aren't we doing enough? No. No, we're supposed to give. And especially when it's young people and, and, and the families in the so-called hood. That's where we came from. You're supposed to give back. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait just a minute, honey. We are sitting here having this conversation, but what makes you think that we have the money to go down there and buy this building for these young people down there in the hood? The last time I checked, Quentin, in the books, there was $40 million in a trust account just laying there. How could you say that you love Jesus and, in, and watch these people in need? I mean, where's your, where's your pose of compassion? Oh, you're trying to get biblical on me, huh? Well, the Bible also says, cast not your pearls to the swine. How dare you call these people swine? <laughs> oh, Quentin. You really make me angry. You don't need this. Too much sugar. I make you much more selfish than what you are. <laughs> Yo, man, where you going? I man, you know, it's hot in here. Driver! You ain't got no AC up in here, man! What's going on today, young man? You looking a little down. I'd like to know what this God is you talk about. God is right on the inside of you. Well, she was on the inside of my mom. You know what? I sell dope, right? I never told my mom to use it. 
What am I supposed to do? I don't want her out there on the streets, selling her body. She expects me to give it to her. Get my mom high? She comes in last night. With that, that messed up song I always hate to hear. Mr. Medicine Man I need my fix, Mr. Medicine Man Mr. Medicine Man Nah, ma I'm gonna sell my body, Mr. Medicine Man Try to dance with me Seducing me them skinny arms of hers strutting in front of me what am I supposed to do I don't know it's gonna be okay that's why we're talking now so I give it to her right she's happy Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> I've never seen my mom this happy before. <laughs> so when I give it to her, right? She yells out. Jesus. Jesus. There ain't no Jesus. How you doing, Mr. Quinn? I'm okay. I'm good. Did you have a question for me or something? Nah, not really. What? Well, actually, how long have you been reading the Bible? Well, I've been saved now for 30 years. Wow, that's a real long time. My grandmother was a church lady. Oh. Yeah, she passed away now, though. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's cool. I'm sure she's in a better place now. Well, let's hope so. Here comes my sock, Quentin. It's always a pleasure talking to you. I'll see you later. See you around. Quentin Matter of fact, it is. He's the singer. I'm the drummer. That's what it is. You know what? How is he, man? He cool. He cool. Good. I ain't hey. seen Quentin since the days of San Quentin. You said the prison? Yeah. Yeah, but he used to hang with the chapel. Always talking about getting his own church and being a pastor. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, he a preacher. He got his own church now. Well, it's good for him, man. I told Quentin I said, what's up, man? Tell me if you see me sometime. I will. Alright, will. Alright, that's me. Alright, that's me. Make sure I told him my son. I want to say sorry for the way I acted last time. But I do have good news. My mom, she's in rehab. And I guess I'm in rehab too because I haven't sold drugs in two days. And I've been filling out these applications. I'm trying. 
But these people, when I walk into their offices, they look at me like I'm some kind of thug. I got a collar shirt on. I haven't worn a collar shirt in years. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I went to one place, they asked me about a high school diploma. I said no. They said I can't mop floors without a high school diploma. Mop a floor? I'm getting tired of this. This is this is not if this if there's a guy, why does he want me to struggle? I got felonies. That alone won't help help me get hired. I don't know what to do. Do I lie on the application? But then they find out I lie. I don't know what to do. I'm telling you. Well, you've already made a good step so far. I see the change in you already. And that's what I was telling you. God has so many blessings for you, son. And the felonies, don't worry about them. When the Lord does it, it works out all right. God's going to bless you. He's blessing you already. Look at you. I remember when you came in here ready to tear up the whole bus and everybody on it. But now you get on and respected by everyone because you respect us. Oh, God has blessings for you. I see it all over you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just have a little bit of faith. It just takes a little bit. What's you, your name? I never told you that, did I? You can call me Sister Janice or Mother Janice. But you know what'll help you? I'm gonna give you the call to my church. You need to accept Jesus and, be, and get saved. And once you're saved, there's a whole nother world out there for you. God's blessed your mama. He's gonna bring your family back together. But she ain't gonna sing that song to you no more. But she gonna sing another song about Jesus in her soul. God bless you, son. Thank you. By the way, I'm Prince Jones III. What a wonderful name, Prince. I gotta go. Bye-bye, I'll see you again. Miss Janice. Hello, Quentin. I have this picture that my grandmother left me, and I don't know what it means. Well, let me take a look at it and see. That sure is a way to put it. What? What does it mean? Well, let me ask you a question. Was your grandmother saved? The church all the time when I was little, and she used to be in her room praying in this funny, strange language, but I could never understand it. I knew it was some funny language like Spanish or French or something. That would be speaking in tongues. Eco shandada da. Oh well, what I can tell you is this is a Bible code. I know that. Bible code? You know what I think you? What? I think the Lord is trying to draw you into himself. And when you find out this code, that's gonna be the key to your life. That's what my grandmother told me when she gave it to me just before she died. What you can do is get on your knees and pray to the Lord and ask him to reveal it to you. And when he does and you follow its instruction, your life will change and it won't ever be the same again. But Ms. Janice, you just can't tell me what it means? No. You're going to have to pray and ask the Lord to reveal it to you. And he will. But here's my stop and I got to go. I'll talk to you later, Quinn. See you later. Well, I had a good day today. Well, I'm happy somebody did. That's good. You deserve it. Yeah. You deserve it. Well, that was a blessing. Well, I'm glad you're, you're a good lawyer, so I'm sure you can handle it. No, oh, and I wasn't doing my nails. <laughs> good, good. You're, you're growing up, sweetheart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, what's up, you? Uh, hey. Hi. Hey, honey. You okay? Yeah. Mom. Yes, yeah, sweet. Dad, can I talk to you about something? Sure, go ahead. Hey, I, I love family I'm discussions. Crying. I'm crying. Why we gotta leave? Why we gotta leave? Why we gotta leave? Yeah, what's happening? Why? We have to have a powwow right now, so. Y'all go on in and watch TV in the other room <laughs> while we have a family talk with your brother. All right, y'all enjoy the y'all enjoy the TV show. Let's just be still and let's hear what our son has to say. Come on. 
Well, Dad, I was down at the youth center today. And a man came in to sign a daughter up for some after school tutoring programs. Okay, and? Well, he said his name was Jake. Jake? That doesn't ring a bell to me. Jake? Sam's? Jake? Sam's? What's wrong? You really know him, Dad? Well, from years ago, I mean, I hadn't heard from him in a long time. I didn't know whether he was dead or alive or... Oh, yeah. He's very much alive. He said he know you from San Quentin. San Quentin? I mean, he must, you must be mistaken. Your father's never been to s in prison. Hasn't he? Well, now, I don't want to be bothered with those low-class people in the hood. What you got to say about yourself now, Mr. Righteous? Honey, is this true? Have you been to prison? Well, Dad, the truth. I've been putting criminals away for the DA all these years. And now I discover that my husband is a felon. I, I, but I don't, I don't remember how you could have, how I could have missed this. I, we were together. I, I saw you nearly every day. Well, remember when we were in court and yeah. you saw my business partner? Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't my business partner. That was my lawyer. I was fighting a drug case. I don't know how I could have missed that. So, Dad, all the time you went down at people. And you had a past yourself. <sighs> what a hypocrite. <laughs> don't you say that. I was just trying to protect you from my past. That's all. I didn't think that stuff was important. Well, it seems as though your pastor caught up with you, doesn't it? Son, honey, I, I'm sorry. I, I just didn't think that that was important enough to really share that information with you guys. I thought you were different from all the other preachers. Man, you're just the same. Son, don't say that. I'm sorry. You don't have to say that to me. You have your Lord Jesus and your congregation to be concerned about. Son, get up. Get up, sweetheart. We've got to talk. Mom. Why is everything happening to me right now? Why? The youth center is closing and people are going to suffer. Ain't nobody would help. All the kids want is his help. But people like that were fake and phony. Do nothing but sit back and watch other people suffer. Honey, I know how you must feel. <laughs> You have such a good heart. <laughs> Sometimes things just aren't what they seem to be. Mom. Why? Oh, baby. I don't know why. I can't answer that. But I do know that if you... If you, if you ask the Lord Jesus Christ, He'll give you strength. He'll give you strength to change things. Just pray, baby. You pray. <laughs> He'll give you that strength. Yo, what's cracking? The police looking for me. For what? 
Hey, yo. Yo, I'm going to go pick the heat up, man. Yo, I'm going to handle this business, though. I told that punk, man, not to betray me for that sucker Q, man. Damn. I'm gonna go see what you're talking about, alright? Chill. Man, look, I ain't trying to hear all that. I'm gonna see what you're talking about, alright? Well, man, I can handle my own, you feel me? You can't fake the front because God knows your heart. No one's perfect, but if you ain't right, the part. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Falling on your face with no one there to help you see my desire to keep looking higher with my arm on arm, blocking Satan's fire. It's about keeping it real. You know the deal. I'm banking Satan and flaking the moss like Holy Field. So take heed. Trials always the enemy who will fall. But triple six mark of the beast. But the heavenly father will keep you out of the wreck. Some will fade and sway. He'll get betrayed. Girl, I think they the winner. You better go up there and collect your you prize, my man. Trust. You trust. You betrayed my trust. You betrayed my trust. Betrayed. Hey, KK. Betrayed my trust. What's going on? Betrayed. You betrayed my trust. To pursue your lust. What's up, KK? What's going on? You guys look good in there. Need to get back in there, and now we're about to find out. The winners are coming to you to walk forty and fast. Is a team number one. Paid a price for leading his people and took it to the limit. Got it really deceitful. Hung him on the cross. Bill the tried to say he was lying and everything was false, but over all the Holy Spirit still working the church. Did you hook up a homeboy? Hook up a homeboy. A discovery ad tablet. Making money out here. Took through a rage and had a parade. When it is. Get harmed with the people that betrayed. Dig number two. You betrayed my trust. That's what you taught me to do? Yeah, I did. I ain't teach you to be a sellout. What? What are you talking about? Yo, how did my center ID get left in the center of the night? You dropped the wrong ID. It was an accident, man. An accident. Yeah, man. The police is looking for me. Come on, Tony. Boys, man. Congratulations. Yeah. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I can make this right. Yeah, we can. Yo, yeah, okay, KK, okay, look, man. Let's forget this ever happened, all right? I'll deal with the police. They can't pin nothing on me. Right, man. Right, man. Thanks. Thanks, Me out, man. My bad, man. My bad. You did that to me, dog. So, late, man. Looking at me, fading sway. get betrayed, betrayed. You betrayed my trust to pursue your lust. Betrayed. You betrayed my trust to pursue your lust. Betrayed. Awesome. Man, that was awesome. Man, I told you, I told you, I told you, man, you can do it. Man, I tell you, it's like my grandma used to say, if you trust in God, God will make a way out of nowhere. Man, you did it, man. I'm telling you, man, you can do it. Man, you did awesome. Awesome, man. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh man, I just, I just got to look up in heaven and thank God, man. You know, oh, man. Oh, he did it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's my baby over there. What's up, man? Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> you did so good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what, I'm what is this? The beginning? I don't need no little fake, phony girl. You can't stick with me through the bad. You definitely can't be with me through the good. She stuck with me even when I was on the public transportation. 34 southbound. Man, I made my choice. Catch a ghost. You look like you made the wrong one. Psych. 
$100,000. $100,000? What's that? That building costs over $1 million. You need to take that money and move with it. And take Mr. Stone with you. Why do you have to move? Who's that? We're the new owners of the Youth Center building. You bought the building? That's right. Mom? <sighs> Dad? That's right. Well, I guess you don't need this then. You can take this in step. Okay. We'll see you again, Mr. Stone. <laughs> Mr. Stone, I'm so happy to meet you. I heard so many good things about you. Me and my wife here. Hello. You know, Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Well, listen, after my son talked to me and we had a little you know, situation happen, and my wife talked to me, thank God for her. I had a change of heart. And uh, we had a few million dollars left in the bank, so. Oh, a few. So we <laughs> thought we would uh, bless oh. you with this. That you possess for the use of what? No. <laughs> what? It's real. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> My wife too. Oh, thank you. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Look at oh. you. Look at you. Wow. And son, oh. Quentin, got something for you, brother. Said I'd never do it, but had a change of heart about that too. Thank you. 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 I can't accept them keys. What? I just bought the youth center for you. That's not good enough? I learned this ways, way stuff more important than a new car. I can't believe you're going to turn down a brand new car. I can. I can. All right, son. It's at home. It's at home in the driveway if you ever want it. But son, just want you to know how proud I am of you. Me and your mom. We love you, son. Yeah, y'all too. You're going to be just like your daddy. Yeah. A go-getter. We'll have to talk. <laughs> Mr. Stone, thank you. thank you. Keep up the thank good work. You. Thank you. Once again, thank, thank you. you so thank much. you for Thank you. Thank you. He's so bad, Pop. <laughs> Congratulations. And you too, sister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> What you working on? The music. That's it. That's cool. Now, in case I didn't make myself clear, I just wanted you to know how proud I am of you for what you did with the youth center. Thanks. Yes. And the successful program that you had, and the efforts to save it. Is that right? I still have these for you. I don't need them keys, Dad. I told you once before. I don't want no new car. Now, come on, son. You saw that beautiful car sitting out there, and that was just for you. I saw it. I don't need it, though. You're still mad at me, huh? You can say that. Doesn't the fact that we purchased the youth center, saved it. Show you that I'm really sorry. That's how that makes you feel. Makes me think that you're sorry because you bought the youth center now. Supposed to give you all the greatness of the world. All right, I'll tell you what. If you change your mind, 
keys are yours. The car's there. I'm changing my mind, Dad. I'd rather take the public transportation. I need some keys. I love you, son. I love you, too. Hey, Mother Janice, I went to your church. Jesus is the answer last week. Oh, I wasn't there last Sunday. Were you playing hooky? No, I was out feeding the homeless. <laughs> I know you were. You were always doing something to help the community. But look, I brought my mom with me, and we both got saved. Oh, amen. And we got baptized in Jesus Christ's name. I ain't never felt so clean ever in my life. Look, like, I bet you I could not take a shower for a whole year and still be clean. Well now, Prince, you go on and take that shower. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and I met a girl over there too. Oh. Look, the way she said hallelujah, hallelujah, God is beautiful. <laughs> I got this new job too. You're looking at the new advertising man for a trucking company. Very good. I told you the Lord had a job for you and he had many blessings for you. You just had to have the faith and you did. And look what he's doing for you. And there's many more things to come. A beautiful family. Mm. You just continue to give God praise and trust in him. I thank you, Mother Janice. I just want to share one thing with you before I go, okay? Okay. This is Isaiah 40, 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Check out my wings. They look good, Prince. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mwah. Thank you. God bless you. Miss Janice. Hey, Quentin. Listen, Miss Janice. I can't take this anymore. Please, you have to tell me what this picture means. I must know. Well, I told you to wait on the Lord and pray. I have prayed, Miss Janice. I even read in the Bible when... When Saul of Tarsus was knocked down on the road to Damascus, and God had to send a man to tell him what to do and how to be saved. Have you ever wondered why I met you here on this bus? Maybe God chose you to tell me what this picture meant. Well? Well, what, Miss Janice? My soul is at stake here. I mean, please, please help me. You say you have the gift of love. Well, then use it right now, sweet lady. Help a brother out. Okay, okay, all right. Now, here's the secret code. You must promise when you understand it that you will obey what it tells you to do. I will. I will. Okay. Now here in the Bible, when you look at the picture, the axe represents the book of Acts. Okay. And the two thirty-eight guns represent the second chapter. And the thirty-eight caliber pistols represent verse 38. And this is what it says. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the remissions of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is how you get saved. Acts 2.38 This is what you must do to be saved. So it leads me to my next question. Are you ready to be saved? Miss Janice. Be careful how you entertain strangers, for some have entertained angels unaware. Oh my God. It can't be. And St. John chapter 3 verse 5 says, Except a man be born again of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The water representing the baptism in the name of Jesus. And the spirit representing the power of the Holy Ghost dwelling inside. Unless you have the Holy Ghost, you cannot enter the kingdom. anybody saved in this house, I want you to wave your hand and shout hallelujah. I want you to know the Bible said there's four things you need to do after you've been baptized. After you've been filled with the Holy Ghost Speaking in tongues The Bible says there's four things That you need to do Number one you need to be taught Taught how to live holy Taught how to pray Taught how to fast Taught how to read Taught how to study the word You need to continue 
steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and breaking of bread and in prayer. Can I get a witness in the house? my name uh, would humble themselves and pray uh, and seek my face uh, and turn uh, from their wicked ways. Uh, I'll hear from heaven uh, and I'll heal uh, your land. Can I get a witness in the house? Oh my God. Quinn. And when they oh, heard sir. this, they said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? We have to do what the Bible says to do. Because the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. And Reverend Johnson, is that car still available for your prodigal son who yes. has just came on home? Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. Come on and get him, son. How y'all doing? This is Ernest Johnson, the executive producer, the writer, and the director of uh, public transportation. And, and right now, you see, we just finished a long day. This is Brother Orlando, myself, Walter, who is our DP, uh, our other uh, our producer, uh, Cornelius Williams. And then we have another actor here. We've been here all day long. I think we done worked about 12 hours today. But thank God we have finished all the scenes on the public transportation. So brother, tell us, uh, how do you feel about doing your first movie? Felt cool, got work like a slave. <laughs> but it was cool though. Like the experience, all the people I worked with. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, got to meet a lot of new people, a lot of different people with their different backgrounds and it brought new flavor to the, the project and I think it came out well. So after working your first big Hollywood feature, which is really low budget, um, how, what's your future goals and dreams in this business? Well, I plan to go as far as I can, do as much as possible. And if I make it big, bring my friends and the people who stuck it out with me in the beginning. So how did you, if you, if you wrap it up, this is basically like our last day on this movie. So sum it up for me and tell me how you feel. Hmm, great experience. I'm just got to go different places, film a lot of places. A lot of people came in, showed the support. And like I said again, I think it's going to come out well. Did you ever think you'd be on a real Metro bus, just kicking it all by yourself, have it all to yourself? Did you ever imagine that happening? With the ants? Yeah, with all these ants around. <laughs> nah, um, I think this is a great scene. Got the, got the bus, ain't got to plagiarize anything. Well, not plagiarize, but fake anything. You know I'm saying we got the real, real scene, the real bus, the real everything. So I think this scene is going to come out great. All right, all right and we want to uh, thank Transit Systems. We want to thank Transit Systems for providing the bus. And we want you to know that it's a blessing to take the public transportation. All right, so here's our Ernest Johnson, the writer, director, executive producer of public transportation. I got uh, three uh, great young men here, and one is Orlando um, Bryant, who is the star of this great movie. So tell us uh, how you enjoyed your experience. I enjoyed it very well. Got to work with a lot of people, a lot of my friends, and I made it like, I feel like we made a big family here. And I want to continue to do this. Yeah. And you did make a big family here. Amen. And right here we have Cornelius Williams. Now I'm going to tell you about Cornelius Williams. He always comes on our films the last day or at the last minute because we didn't think we were going to be able to finish this film. But we thank God for Cornelius Williams. I called him late last night. He toiled, couldn't sleep, woke up with a headache, consulted his wife, 
And but the Holy Ghost drug him to say, we got to finish this project, public transportation. And that's why we're able to come into your homes. Cornelius, just give us a word. That's right. It's a pleasure working with Brother Ernest here, who, uh, wow, you really have to be on your toes when you work with this brother, <laughs> I must tell you. But it's a pleasure. I really believe in what he's doing. I believe in what everybody's doing. It's uh, truly a pleasure. Um, I believe uh, some big things are going to be coming to pass really soon. So just keep your eyes and ears out. You know, the good Lord does provide. And this is going to be a really great film. So um, there's going to be many more to come after this. And we have this young brother here. Uh, this is my first day working with you. And I believe your name is Walker. Edwin Walker. And Edwin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I just moved out to Los Angeles from Chicago and um, got the chance to meet Mr. Johnson and was able to come on a project and get a role in a positive film and really glad that I got a chance to participate in something that I know is just the beginning of more in the future to come. All right. And we are so glad for all of you, and we just want you to know uh, we just thank God for the Bible code all through the the whole bus, but what the Bible code actually tells you how to be saved. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right. Thank you again, Orlando. <laughs> Thank you everyone out there. It's a lot of fun working with Orlando. <laughs> He's funny. Until next time. <laughs> All right. And Pleasure working. All right. Peace out. Peace. Well, this is Orlando Bryant, SKA Uncensored, recording live with my almighty Blue and White Sigma brother right here, Walter Perez, DP of the movie. How you thought it went? I mean, the movie went well. You know what I mean? Um, it was one of my first um, independent projects that I directly, I uh, was the director of photography like the whole time. So, you know, I'm definitely am excited. You know what I mean? And I, you know what I mean? I expect a lot of great things from this movie. So, um, so what was the, like, what were the, some of the challenges that you faced in the, um, working on this movie? Some of the challenges I faced was quick reading of some of the scripts. You know what I'm saying? Some days we uh, did some scenes that we wasn't supposed to do that day, and I had to quickly get the scenes in my head and go over them and act them out to the best of my knowledge. But I think that I did the best that I could, and with the people that I had with this movie with me, I felt that we all did a great project. So, yeah.